hello everyone today we are going to see the next and the last process uh, the next process we can see is the gravity separation process as i have told you before that we have done the froth flotation process then the electromagnetic method and the gravity separation method now now gravity itself tells us that it is going to distinguish between the two ores that is the heavier ore particles and the lighter ore particles now this gravity separation process is also called as the hydraulic washing hydraulic means what we are going to pass the current of water means a water in a very forceful manner so it is called as the hydraulic washing it is the most well proven and widely accepted method of concentrating the minerals this method has been used as a primary form of mineral concentration for centuries due to its high efficiency and low cost gravity separation is always the first consideration in any mining metallurgic site where there is sufficient difference between the specific gravities of the valuable and the gangway as i told you before gravity separation itself its name tells us that we are going to separate the ore particles in the different form that is the lighter ore particles and the heavier ore particles now why we are using this method because of its high efficiency low cost this is the major reason now let's have a look this method is used for what it is used for the oxide ores and the carbonate ores most probably this method is used for these two ores that is the oxide ores and the carbonate ores now what is the principle as i have told you that this method is based on the principle of difference in the gravity of the ores and the impurities present in it gravity means the higher and the low uh, higher and the lower density ore particles we can say now in this method the light or low specific gravity gangway gangway means the impurity which is present particles are separate from the heavier metallic ore particles by washing with water so when we are passing the water what will happen the lighter and the heavier ore particles get separated now the process this method is also called hydraulic washing as we are washing it with water with a current of water so it is called as the hydraulic washing the ore particles are poured in the tank with the help of hopper as shown in the figure so this is a tank of water this is from the hopper we are going to pass the powdered ore this is a water jet by from where we are going to pass the water uh this is the suspension of the ore and this is the outlet for the concentrated ore whereas the lighter uh, ore particles they get uh, they are that is the gangway which can be removed from the upper part so this was a, a simple diagram for the gravity separation method now let's have a look how it takes place the water enter the tank through the jet stream from the bottom of the tank so i have told you this is a diagram so from the bottom we are going to pass the water and from the hopper we are going to pass the powdered ore now when we pass the water and the powdered ore what actually happens in the tank the heavier ore particles are settled these are settles at the bottom and the lighter gangway particles separate out in the form of washing so whatever the heavier particles are there due to the water they get settled down 
at the bottom of the surface whereas which are lighter they can be easily removed from the upper part from the tank that is the gangway the ore settled down at the bottom is collected at the frequent times of interval so as we pass the powdered ore and the water what will happen by the time interval we are going to remove the concentrated ore particles so that it cannot be so that it can make the place for the other ore particles so at a specific time of interval we are going to uh, remove the concentrated ore particles as well as the gangway from the tank now this method is useful in the separation of heavy metal oxides from the impurities so whatever the heavy metals are there oxides they can be easily separated from this method so generally we can take an example like hematite fe2o3 tin stone sno2 etc are concentrated by the gravity separation method so as i told you before what we want to separate from the ore particles that is the heavier particles or the lighter particle it depend upon the uh, type of ore what we want to get out from that ore so depending on that we are using the different types of the method like the froth flotation method electromagnetic separation method or the gravity method so here we are taking the hematite and the tin stone now the gravity separation is the most widely accepted method of concentrating the mineral so as i told you before why it is used due to its efficiency and low cost and this is the first consideration in any minings and metallurgical sites uh, sites where there is sufficient difference between the specific gravities of the valuable ore and the gangway particles so here is also the other method in the same form like uh, we can see here this is the hopper this is a platform with the wedges these are the wedges we can see here the ups and downs this uh, in the diagram we can see this is the heavier ore which is being settled in between these platforms where the lighter uh, gangway or the ore particles they can be removed and can be collected in the other tank so this is also one of the method we can use which is the uh, hydraulic washing we can say this method is specially suitable for heavy oxide ore like hematite and the tin stone in this the powdered ore is placed on a sloping platform or a plate from form and washed by directing on it a strong current of water so this is a hopper from where we are going to pass the powdered ore now from this is a pipe where we can uh, give a uh, we can have the flow of current of the water and this is a platform where the ore particle comes and due to this the flow of water what will happen whatever the heavy particles will be there it will settle in between this to we can say like a stairs like is uh, it's a it's like a stairs and because of this sloping platform the heavy ore particle get settled down whereas the lighter ore particles they are being flowed away so the lighter sandy and earthy impurities are washed away while the heavier ore particles are being left behind in this wedges so this was all about the gravity separation method or the hydraulic process in which we have seen the both the things uh, both different types of the method from where we can separate out the heavier ore particles and the lighter ore particles so this was all about the gravity separation method thank you